What's going on guys when I banded back again with yet another video once again I am streaming at the same time re while recording this but today I have an interesting matchup again this is part of my gladiator series where Bobby my gladiator goes off against somebody who wants to fight him and Besu you guys remember Besu I actually fought Besu Besu is actually one of those people who wanted to fight Bobby and right now we have that match going on um, it seems they both are running Kefla I don't know why Besu's running Kefla because he doesn't normally play her um, I think he should have chose his real main team I don't know if he even really has a main team but um, again you guys know Bobby he's I always talk about him on the channel hashtag Bobby go to local he is definitely some someone who is really really good at the game and is way better than you know what he thinks he is so right now again we're gonna do a first to three set what you guys are seeing right now is Besu versus Bobby so um, already right off the bat Bobby is now on the offensive uh, Basie did get an early open up with a 6M um, and Bobby wasting his meter to vanish to get the corner backs up because he knows he doesn't have enough time to quite hit Basie in the corner um, so here we go Kefla with you know this mix all you have to do is reflect it but if you keep reflecting too much you're gonna get bagged and Bobby should have a kill on Basie's first character Kefla it seems Bobby is the real Kefla in this match. He also does it meterless, so that's a good kill. Now, Basu does have a really, really good Android 21. Um, again, if you guys remembered our fights, I did take it 3 to 1, I believe. But it wasn't an easy 3 to 1, which is why I say Basu is pretty damn good. But it's just the fact of the matter, can he beat my gladiator Bobby? Oh my god, what a heavy to snipe him out of the super dash. Down base he goes, Bobby goes for the Oki. Ooh, okay, good blocks, good blocks. Oh, the guard change. Should have been punished, but it's all good. So Basu also has a pretty decent Bardock. Can't say it's better than mine or anything, but it's an alright Bardock. So, um, this this match so far is going not too bad for either either person. Oh, the back dash to to stop the the Broly pressure. DBS Broly is out of this team. I want to say DBS Broly is Bobby's second best character. His number one is definitely his Go Tank. So to really beat this team you kind of want to go for Gotenks first but it's not that's not just an easy task to do so um, again Bobby with the pressure going to level 3 to 1 get the damage take the armor off because if you didn't know Broly does get a damage boost um, after he does his level 3 and 2 now he has the Oki that is a safe jump base what are you doing oh Bobby drops the combo but it's okay, the pressure's still on. Vanish to vanish, vanish to vanish. And once again, Gotenks uses his broken assist to lock down um, Basie. So now we have a no sparking but limit break ultimate power Android 21. What can she do versus Bobby's DBS Broly, Gotenks, and Kefla? We're about to find out. Um, he doesn't have much bar. Okay, he's oh, he tried to do some season two tech and. We're just not in season two anymore, Basie. People can people get to do whatever the hell they want after getting swapped out. So it's kind of tough to uh, you know, do anything <laughs> after you switch somebody out and think you're gonna get pressure. And the first match goes to Bobby. Again, Basie didn't do too bad. He didn't do too bad at all. Um, I'm looking forward to this second match. Let's see if Besu has auto-corrected anything that he needs to auto-correct. Um, let's see if he can. Um, let's see if he he can. I, I can't even speak right now. Um, get get more reads and you know go in with with a better mindset to fight off Bobby. Bobby. A character lead would uh, 
would give Beisu a little bit of confidence, I'm sure. He started off really, really well against Kefla, but a whiffed reflect gets Bobby's Kefla the damage that he needs to get to the corner. Super Dash always wins. Oh, Beisu misses the Android 21. A 6 C assist. Crazy part is Android 21 C assist is one of the best assist C assist in the game to me. Um, it has this property where it, it kind of leaves the opponent in the air for a bit of a longer time. So you have the ability to charge. Uh, you can actually get a charge off and get a bit of extra bar when you use Android 21 C assist. And like I was saying, Beisu gets a character lead. Three characters to Bobby's Gotenks and DBS Broly, but like I was saying, Gotenks is Bobby's best character, so it's not going to be easy just to get Gotenks out of there. Beisu has to come up with an answer for this Gotenks. If he does not, then things will not go well for him. As it stands right now, again, Bobby is just going to town on this Android 21. The C assist will allow for Bobby to get a kill here. He has five bars, and I'm sure he does not mind spending it. Once again, needs to get that damage boost off with Broly, take the armor off, and and there's there's a, uh, Android 21 down. Android 21 down uh, means rough things for Beisu because I'm pretty sure 21 is Beisu's best character. Ooh, Bardock's, Bardock's B assist is so godlike this season. Ooh, he was not expecting the 6H command grab. I think a lot of people forget that Broly actually has that and that he can combo off of it. Kefla might be. Oh, he's not dead. He, he opts for the safe jump. Misses the guard cancel punish, and boom, a 2H to knock Bardock into the sky. DBS Broly has the longest combos in the world, and very, very damaging combos if that person knows how to use them. Um, here, he's going to go for an OP setup with this level 1. Beisu does get manage to get the block off. Ooh, Beisu with a good reflect, but it wasn't enough. Bobby immediately goes into Vanish to get the punish. Switches out and opts for a safer approach. Lots of back dashes coming from Kefla. I, yeah, I was just about to say Bobby most likely will start to punish that. And with that level one, Bardock goes down and the lead is up two to one, Bobby. And I don't know if Beisu quite has an answer yet. I don't know if Beisu has an answer quite yet, but I'm hoping that he, he makes this third round a little bit closer than they have been. Again, he was able to take down Kefla last game, but it just wasn't enough. You know, it just wasn't enough. And, and now, Bobby once again is on the offensive. Beisu goes out of the corner and is able to, to get pressure onto Kefla. Very, very simple. Does he know the safe jump? He opts for for the uh, the mix here. Bobby blocks it. Most people do go empty jump low after that mix up. Um, ooh, okay, okay, okay. That was that was good. All right. I think one of my favorite things about how Bobby plays is definitely his movement. Um, Bobby always makes sure that he's in the right place at the right time. Um, and compared to, to me, he always 
he, he just he knows where I'm going to be. He knows where his opponent is going to be, and he makes sure to lame them out. And if you don't know what laming somebody out is, basically uh, just playing turtle like. I guess in MK11 standards, is they play like a turtle. Basically, you just back. Oh, what a re jump! Bobby out here flexing on people. I see him. But yeah, he, he basically what he does is you know plays keep away. And he makes sure his opponent gets so frustrated that there's nothing they can do but, you know, try to go in after him. And obviously he gets the punish for doing so. And now Bobby once again has that pressure on Android 21. And 21 may be close to dead here. I'm not quite certain. Actually, most likely. Oh, yeah, this is certainly dead. This is certainly dead. And down goes Android 21. Basu, once again, his best character down. Does he quite have an answer to take out? Oh, he. Oh, there, there it went. Basu went for that backdash, and Bobby was going to punish, but I'm pretty sure he realized, you know what? DBS Broly doesn't have the best buttons, fast buttons to punish a backdash, so he, he opts to, you know, back up instead um, after trying to chase it. Basu might have a kill here. He, he certainly does have a kill. With DBS Broly down, again, how will he handle. Go tanks and now Kefla who is sitting in the back. Ooh, Super Dash clips Go tanks, but a scramble situation allows Go tanks to get out of there. Go tanks with the beam. Oh, Bobby opts to go for a reset there, and he doesn't get him, but he does get a two limb, which is the most damaging starter. Granted. Gotenks doesn't have like anything that I've seen that leads to a TOD of any sort. So most of his damage just comes from, you know, just level one or what Gotenks does is Oki. All he has is really Oki. Oh man, this should be a dead Kefla here. Um he does not he was not able to uh come in safely with that guard chain and Bobby is able to kill Kefla meterlessly and here we go. It's looking it's looking like a wash. It's kind of looking like a wash, but I'm not going to say so quite yet. Bobby has the blocks down. Basu has no answer to the go tanks. What is Basu going to do? Oh, it once again punishes the guard change. Goes in for a disrespectful level 3. I'm pretty sure he didn't have to do that, but he does it anyway. So Bobby, my gladiator, takes the W. If you guys know anybody who thinks they can take on Bobby in a first to three, let me know and hopefully we can set it up as, as it stands right now. Bobby is 2-0 and oh in this gladiator series. So, thank you guys for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please remember that God and anime are always on your side. That's all I got for y'all. Peace out.